Hey everyone, and welcome to my simple evening routine. And my evening usually begins somewhere between 5 and 6 p.m., just depending on when I get off of work. Since I work from home, I really do control my schedule, so I'll get to a good stopping point and then shut things down for the day. And if my desk is messy, I'll take a few moments to tidy up my desk, but then I'll head to the kitchen, grab a glass of water, and then go to the living room where I'll just take a few minutes to reflect, process, as well as plan my next day. So I use a bullet journal to really plan my life, and I use it as a hybrid planner, to-do list, as well as just general place where I can take notes. So typically at the end of each workday, I like to look back and just assess, did I meet the work goals that I had for the day, as well as plan for what do I want to accomplish the next day as well. And this is an important part of my daily routine because it helps me to process everything that happened in the workday, but then to be able to also leave it behind so that I can enjoy the rest of my evening. So once I've finished with that, I like to move on to one of my personal favorite parts of the day, checking in on all of my plans. Especially during the summer, I find that many of my plants need watering almost daily, so I'll take a few moments to do my rounds, water any that need watering, and just generally see if any of them need deadheading, misting, or anything else. Next, it's time to move on to dinner, and on this night, I decided to make one of my all-time favorite recipes, these Korean beef lettuce wraps. This recipe was given to me by a Korean friend of mine, and I've kind of adapted it to make it my own. So I started off just by boiling the water for the rice in this gorgeous new pot set that I recently received from Caraway. And I love listening to a good podcast while making dinner, so I decided to quickly pop on the Heart and Hustle podcast so I'd have something fun to listen to while cooking. And then the next step here is to make the seasoning for the Korean beef lettuce wraps. Like I mentioned, I do loosely follow a recipe, but I've adapted it kind of to fit my own personal liking over the years. So if you're interested in trying out this recipe for yourself, I'll try to leave the instructions for you down below. But I love them because they are a delicious meal that takes less than 40 minutes to make. And I touched on this already, but I am obsessed with this new cookware set from Caraway. I was already on the lookout for a healthier alternative to my worn out old Teflon set. So when Caraway reached out and asked if I wanted to try their cookware set, I knew it was the perfect fit. And I love them because they're 100% free of any toxic chemicals. They're also naturally non-stick. And having used them several times now, I can definitely attest to that. They're also really easy to store and I am absolutely in love with this cream coat. So if you're looking for a healthier cookware alternative like I was, definitely be sure to check them out. And Caraway is kindly offering my followers $25 off your purchase of a cookware set. Just click on the link in the description box below and it will automatically be added to your cart. And once the rice and beef are ready, the last step here is to cut up some lettuce and then serve everything. While the sun set, I took time to make my dinner and enjoy it. To assemble these lettuce wraps, I just used a piece of romaine lettuce as a base, added on rice, beef, and then finished it off with a little bit of green onion. And I made plenty for leftovers, so I just put all of the remaining food in some Tupperware containers and put them in the fridge. Next, it was time to take care of the dinner dishes, and these caraway pots and pans really do come clean so easily that this really was a breeze. So I washed those and then just put my plate, bowl, and cutlery into the dishwasher. Once a day, typically after a dinner, I like to wipe down all of our services, including the table and countertops, as well as sweep the floor. And often I'll just use water, but occasionally I like to use my infused cleaning spray just to make sure the counter is getting a bit of a deeper clean. 
and sweeping is at least a once a day task for us but often it has to be done several times a day because we have darker wood on our floors they just seem to get dirty so quickly And then it's time to move on to the very chill and relaxing part of my evening and I'll start off just by making myself a tea. Now at night I like to keep my teas caffeine free so I'm not staying awake late into the night. So I decided to have this incredible cinnamon ribus tea from David's Tea. Honestly guys, this one might be my favorite tea at the moment. And for this night, I decided to add some extra decadence to my tea by adding some frothed oat milk. And for me, no cozy evening is complete without a candle, so I decided to light one of those as well. And this is the time in the evening when my routine can really change a lot from day to day. I might read, get some work done, spend time on a hobby, hang out with friends. But this evening I decided to spend some time on a bit of a fun and productive project. I recently did a photo shoot with a photographer friend of mine so I could have some updated headshots and branding pictures. And on this day I had actually just gotten them back so I decided to spend some time going through and editing those. Personally, I like to think of this kind of thing as fun work. It is productive and something that I wanted to get done, but it's also something that I really enjoy spending time on, and so it doesn't really feel like work. It's a hobby for me. So I spent a while having fun and looking through the pictures, and then after a while I decided to put my computer away and just enjoy my tea and spend a bit of time on my phone. I try not to be on my phone too too much throughout the day as I find that it can definitely lower my productivity levels, but at night after all the work is done I like to spend some time on my phone catching up with friends, texting people, watching stories on Instagram, or even watching YouTube. Once I finished the last few sips of my tea, I headed to the closet where I changed into my pajamas as well as picked out my clothes for the next day. I am not a morning person in the slightest, so picking out my clothes the night before when I have the brain power is definitely the way to go for me. And then for bed, I just put on these super comfortable leggings from Girlfriend Collective and a basic t-shirt. And then at this point, Christopher had come home, and while we watched some TV together, I decided to pick up my embroidery. This is just a fun little floral project that I started a few weeks ago, but I've really gotten into embroidery a lot in the past year. It's just this very fun and therapeutic activity that I love doing while watching TV or listening to a podcast. And then Christopher and I are both big sports fans, so we've been watching a lot of baseball in the evenings recently, but we're also in the midst of watching the Avatar TV series, and we'll typically finish off our night with one of those. And at around 10.30 each night, we'll turn off the TV or stop whatever we're doing and get ready for bed. And at this point, I like to just do a quick little tidy up of our living room. I'll straighten the pillows, put away the remotes or anything else that might be out, put the blankets away, and then blow out any candles and turn off the lights. Next, I'll brush my teeth and do my skincare. And recently, I've been loving this cleanser from Nuori. It's really gentle on my sensitive skin, but does a great job of removing any makeup that I have on, as well as really just clearing and cleansing my skin. And once I've rinsed my face and patted my skin dry, I'll put on some moisturizer. At night, on top of a facial cream, I also like to use an eye cream, which can help to reduce the appearance of any dark circles and leave my skin feeling bright and fresh. And once that's done, I'm ready for bed, so I'll turn off the lights, close the blinds, and get into bed. So 
so there you have it that is my calm yet productive evening routine and i really like to try incorporating some more healthy habits while still keeping my night relaxing so i hope you enjoyed this one and if you haven't already be sure to hit that subscribe button below for more simple and intentional living videos coming at you twice a week also be sure to follow me on instagram i am at ashlyn.eaton on there for more daily inspiration and updates that is everything for today's video though thank you so so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.